2022 season for me climbing the ranks was kind of the biggest uh, biggest goal or biggest hurdle uh, i think i started with close towards 200 world ranking and luckily the world triathlon series uh, gave me two wild cards to get into the races uh, which set me in good stead to get some ranking points uh, early season and uh, managed to get a seventh place i think in leeds uh, world series which i did not expect at the start of the season after kind of having heart surgery about a year before that my 2022 season was a bit chaotic. I started the season uh, with a lot of fun races, uh, ended the season on a not so fun note when I broke my elbow in one of the Super League races. When I crashed, I knew something was really wrong. I'd never broken something, but in this case, I knew it was different than any of my other crashes. Um, I sort of knew that my season was over, but in a way I had some hope of like just six weeks just recovering and then getting back into racing uh, but that never really happened. I realized soon enough it was the end of the season and um, in a way I was disappointed but on the other hand it was a good thing because I was dealing with some other injuries uh, so it gave me some time to get ready for the next season. So in 2023 this year we started a season in World Triathlon Series Abu Dhabi. Going into the race I knew I was not ready for it so I knew there would be a lot of work to be done. So going into Abu Dhabi World Triathlon Series race this year, uh, beforehand I kind of didn't have any expectations. I went in there uh, just hoping to see where I could, you know, what I could do with uh, what, you know, the training I'd done and uh, ended up coming I think 14th or 15th out, I'm not 100% certain, uh, but yeah, I was pretty happy with that uh, to get some points. The big goal was to get points for the race and yeah, I managed to achieve that, so now I'm happy with, that, with the outcome. So the next big race for me is a World Triathlon Series in Yokohama in Japan in the middle of May. For me that's a qualifying race, so that one and then two weeks later we've got a race in Cagliari, also a qualifying race World Triathlon Series. So for now we've only really planned half of my season to see how my injury is progressing. Um, but the biggest goal, if I can continue the rest of the season without too many problems, then it will definitely be trying to qualify for the Olympics. We know we both have our goals, uh, they're very similar. We know it's gonna be tricky to maybe reach those goals. Um, but in the meantime, we're also making plans for the near future, which is also very exciting. For Rachel and I, um, uh, we definitely feel like giving back, connecting Europe and, so and uh, South Africa in some ways, uh, as well as parts of Africa, trying to get the kids and guys out to Europe, get them the exposure that uh, we can, I kind of didn't get myself when I was a junior. Um, that's kind of a bit of a giving back thing, so that's, Definitely something that's quite a passion of Rachel and myself uh, coming coming in the in the near future. You know, it's been an amazing journey um, thus far. You know, we thank everyone for tuning in and watching us live over the last couple of years. Uh, if you want to continue watching us and following us, uh, usually on Instagram is kind of the best place. Uh, myself uh, at RD underscore Murray and Rachel Rachel Plummer or at Rachel Plummer, uh, as well as on YouTube, uh, you can check us out as well. We're also on YouTube, so yeah, those are kind of the mediums you can follow to to uh, take a look to follow to see our future uh, going forwards.